Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Friday, Venus, Venusian Day, Friday, November 10th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduces to number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are rocking with the black egg and i feel like the black egg is so fitting for today there's a whole lot of ones in this there's a whole lot of ones in this day the 11th month the number one is repeated the 10th the number one is repeated and the number one energy so all of those ones brings me to new beginnings the possibilities of new beginnings especially with the zero next to the 10 brings me to the potential of new beginnings. And with this black egg energy here, the egg always brings me to the zero in numerology. And the zero is known as the cosmic egg because it represents potential. And whenever I see this black egg, it brings me to say a womb, a fertile womb that's waiting for you to plant a specific seed. So it's like, you're the planter, you're the, you're the farmer in your world and what kind of farm do you want to have like you're the farmer in this world in your world and you decide the kind of crops that you want to focus on when it comes to you know your farmland and what exactly do you want to what do you want to produce there and the black egg brings me to that the black egg brings me to clarity and intentions when it comes to whatever it is that we want to create i think about this month november and how it's such a powerful month because it is one of manifestation and powerful manifestation i feel like with this month you have to be very 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 present and intentional with your time your energy and your words because it's just so easy it's just it's just so easy for that spark to you know, just catch something on fire. It just brings me to the thought of always wanting to create fire, never knowing how, and then us being in a season and something about the energies in the season brings a certain chemical in the air that could easily make a match light where before, no matter how much you would try, the match just wouldn't light. And I feel like with the energies in this day, it brings me back to intention, being intentional. Uh, some people will say nothing ever manifests for me. I never get what I want, this, that, and the next. And I bet you any money more than anything, that person is scattered when it comes to their thought. That person today, they want this, tomorrow they want that. And it's just super scattered when it comes to intentions. Or to me, I feel like, you know, you got one foot here and one foot there and you're tipping your toes in this and you're tipping your toes in that, where you just have to be, you know, you have to commit. You know, you have to imagine that whatever it is that you want is like a relationship, a marriage, a marriage that only consists of two people, you and that thing. And you can't entertain anything else. You just have to give your all to that thing that you're interested in. And giving your all to that thing might be just holding that thought and knowing that is exactly what you want and not entertain any kind of information or conversation that no kind any kind of information or conversation that contradicts that thing maybe that's all you need to do in the moment not necessarily doing anything like physical work it's just holding 
the image, the visualization of what the outcome looks like and don't entertain anything that contradicts it. Because whenever we entertain things that contradict it, we'll find ourselves starting to doubt whatever it is that we want. And then we start to entertain the thoughts of other things. And then when we entertain the thoughts of other things, then we're sending out mixed signals. So it's like one minute you plant a certain seed and then you're like, I don't know if I want that seed and you drop another seed. And, you, and it's like, there's not enough focus and nourishment going towards that one thing. So for me, it comes down to what is the one thing that, you know, that I want more than anything. And I feel like, like most of the time for most of us, you really don't have to question. You already know what that thing is. And I do understand for some people, you do have to question and search yourself because from an early age, you've learned to kind of shut the door on that thing. So whenever you think about what it is that you want or what you're trying to create or man, you know, what you, what you would want for yourself, you draw a blank because you've already told your mind that that thing is a big no, no. So because you've already shut that thing out, everything else, you just draw a blank when it comes to everything else, because the thing that's the most important to you is the one thing that from an early age, you told yourself, this is impossible and you will not entertain that thing. So with the black egg energy as a spurred animal, I'm getting to be super intentional today when it comes to your thoughts, when it comes to your energy, um, pay attention to how you're feeling. Cause that's the best way to monitor your thoughts, pay attention to how you're feeling. And when you're feeling how you're feeling, Think of different ways how to work on your energy. What's coming to mind is for me, when it comes to eating well, I realize that eating well has everything to do with preparation, preparation in the sense that always thinking ahead when it comes to your food, meaning say I'm at home, I'll always make sure that I have healthy options as far as something sweet, something salty, something crunchy. Because I might be in a salty mood and I need something crunchy, you know, so always making sure I have those options and healthy ones that taste good where if I leave myself with nothing here and for whatever reason I'm craving something and then I have to get something last minute, there's a bigger chance that I might go consume something that I just shouldn't. But if, you know, I'm disciplined and I have things planned out and I'm organized about it. And then sometimes it takes more than that and the ability to have to just know the consequences of going one way and willing yourself back the other way. But with the black egg energy, what I'm getting is like you're like paying attention to your energy. So like I was saying about preparing foods in order to make sure you are can consistent when it comes to consuming certain kind of foods if that's the goal to me it's the same thing when it comes to your energy it's the same thing when it comes to your energy in the sense that what are different things that you can do to change your energy around whenever you find yourself feeling down like for me for whatever reason today and i say for whatever reason but i know like for me today that i woke up and the energies felt a bit heavy like today is november second and the energies in the day adds up to the number 11 which in that video i think i already spoke about how the day might feel a bit emotional but then there's that turbulent energy of the number one from the 11s amplified and i felt it today so it's like whatever things in my world that was that's unresolved or whatever it is that i'm dealing with like i felt it heavy based on all those ones and today and tomorrow's days like that with that heavy one energy with heavy thoughts and you know based on whatever it is that you're dealing with so for me while i was on my walk earlier i made up my mind that i'm not even going to entertain the market today so no trading for me i'm just going to come in shower and create content because I already know that not necessarily that if I entertain the market that I might lose, it's can I handle the loss based on how I'm feeling so fragile and vulnerable emotionally. But while I was on my walk, I was listening to something motivational, but it just didn't cut it. And something clicked, like listen to some gospel. Like it, growing up, I used to hear it played in the house all the time. And you you know, figure out your own way to lift your spirits. But in that moment, that's what lift my spirit. That felt like the only thing that worked. 
So, you know, I put that in my headphone and I started feeling so much better. Like it felt like home because growing up, you know, I would hear it and it made me feel like home. But at the same time, whether they're whatever, regardless of what they're saying, it, it, it feels like, like listening to them and listening to them say what they say in my mind, it's being translated as the universe, the God within me, you know, I'm hearing it in a way that's empowering me, that's inspiring me. And by the end of my walk, I felt so much lighter. I felt so much better. But even though I felt lighter and better, I still didn't get in the market because I just, you know, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to like risk, like, you know, I always already was in a fragile kind of mood. So I didn't want to, I just wanted to continue like being present on whatever it is that I'm feeling and continuing to nurture myself and uplift my energy in whatever ways that I can. And today is one of those days. Today is a day where it's super important for you to do the same. And we have the page of pentacles in the upright position. So with the page of pentacles in the upright position, this brings into some practical change for some of you, or even a financial opportunity for others, because the page is turning a new leaf. So with the page energy for some people today might be news or even a new thought or inspiration or a new beginning as to how to bring more money into your world. But I feel like for some today might be a day of turning a new page and figuring out some kind of a system that works for you, some kind of a system that can help you to keep your energy in a way like to help you to maintain positive energy. So when it comes to today, the moon is in Libra. The moon is still in Libra. And with the moon in Libra, our inner world is nurtured by the thought of relationships, connections. But at the same time, our inner world might be in a place where we are putting ourselves on one scale, people, places, and things, and we're weighing ourselves out and questioning our worth, how worthy we are from how worthy we're not based on how we're performing according to society's standards and things like that. Our focus might be emphasized during this time that Mercury is in Sagittarius on things that deal with foreign matters, things that deals with possible education, but higher education, higher education, foreign matters, and just diversity on a whole or things that we might be focusing on. Venus is the ruler of the day and Venus is in Libra. So like I mentioned with the moon energy, you know, we're valuing the idea of relationships and connecting with others. But more than anything, we might find ourselves like putting ourselves on one scale and looking to see what everybody else is doing. And that's the last thing you want to do today. For me, when I think of Libra energy or the number nine energy, I remember in my old videos that I would make on numerology in astrology, it's like certain energies are the type on, and we all have them within us naturally, where if we're in a classroom and the teacher says to create so-and-so, you know, some of us will pop our heads up to see what everybody else is doing so that we can get an idea of how we should create, where instead we should challenge ourselves to hold our head down and just allow whatever is inside of us to come out and just go with it. Just go with it. Just trust it. Trust it and go with it. So, you know, our inner world is in that position, you know, where we're looking around to see what everybody else might be doing. And I feel like that's the best way to find yourself in a place in your life where you're like, okay, I put all this work in. I made so much sacrifices but this is not where I thought I would end up. This is not where I want to be. And I feel like it comes from that. It comes from us getting consumed in social status and uh, uh, glamorous callings and worrying about what everybody else is doing. And we've been conditioned to do that, but that's just another thing that we have to unlearn. And I feel like adulthood feels like that, where you spend most of your time unlearning a lot of what you've learned. And for me, I've also learned that, you know, unlearn what I learned, but keep it to myself. If someone, you know, sees me doing something different and they ask, then I tell. But other than that, just keep it to myself because, you know, while you're unlearning, 
to start yelling it from the mountaintop. You're going to get a fight from others as they will defend those things that might be keeping them in bondage, but they'll defend it to the end because their identity revolves around those things. So for you to be bragging about how you're unlearning all these things is like you're telling them that who they identify as is wrong. So, you know, as you unlearn whatever it is that you're learning, you know, keep it to yourself. Let people come to you and say, wow, you look amazing. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's your secret? Wow, you look so happy. What are you doing? What's your secret? You know, that kind of thing I feel like is important uh, for us to do. You know, that's how I think it's important to handle that kind of thing, you know, when it comes to alert, unlearning and learning energies. But a lot of thoughts today, a lot, a lot, a lot of thoughts. And, you know, the thoughts will come, the thoughts will go. But to me, the thoughts that come in and out, for me, it's like, say, imagine this image right here and imagine this image torn up into millions of pieces. I feel like each thought is one of the pieces that will complete this image. So within all of us, we all have an image of like our ideal self or whatever wants to be re realized through us. And the thing that wants to be realized to us will come to us in a million different thoughts. But if we piece all the thoughts together, which is this is where your journaling comes in. If you write them all down, write down the dreams, write down the ideas over time, you know, you write them all down and try to put them under an umbrella. You'll realize that they all fit under. There's one word to describe them all. And you know, it goes down, it comes down to whatever that thing is, for whatever reason, you might not be allowing yourself or giving yourself permission to step into that. So it's going to come and show up in different ways as different ideas, because at the end of the day, like the universe wants us to win, like the universe wants us to succeed because the universe wants to express itself through us. And how could the universe express itself to us if we're limited if we're not abundant, imagine having a friend that you cannot have any and any conversations with. You're only limited when it comes to the conversations you can have with them. And imagine hearing that, you know, something happens for them and now you can talk to them about everything, anything and nothing at all. That's so powerful because you get to express yourself through them as you're sharing your thoughts with them. And I feel like that's the same with the universe. Like the universe wants us to be wealthy. The universe wants us to be healthy. The universe wants us to be abundant. So God wants us to be healthy. God wants us to be abundant. God wants us to be happy because that energy gets to flow and express itself through us. You know, so when it comes to say, you know, the thoughts that you have, the great ideas that you will have today, just write them down. I promise you, if you write them down and you observe them all, they all fit under one umbrella, but more than likely what they're telling you to do is something that you're terrified of doing. And you've put that thing aside a long time ago and have been convincing yourself to take on other things that are easier or more glamorous, more acceptable things that will make your family proud of you things that will make others accept you and you decide to go after those things instead, but keep feeling incomplete, keep feeling like something's missing. And of course, that thing that's missing, it's like haunting you by sending you these ideas and different things that you keep wanting to go after. But really, it's that thing that you dismiss and, you know, put to the side a long time ago is calling you and will forever call you until you answer the call. Or some of us might find ourselves, you know, exiting this place with regret, shoulda, coulda, woulda. And to me, that's the worst thing that can happen or one of the worst things that can happen to a person. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or support the channel by checking out my Patreon where I drop exclusive weekly content, the links for booking a reading or a Patreon are both in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does.
Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.